Hey everyone, over the last few days, I've noticed several posts on Stable Diffusion subreddit asking how to create these viral AI dancing videos. The post was already taken down by the Stable Diffusion mods, but this post got a lot of upvotes and comments of people trying to figure out which models were used to create this dancing video. And also some of our members in the community was asking how to create this video as well. So in today's video, I'm going to test out all the different models that can be used to create dancing videos for your social media content to see which ones are the best for copying viral dance TikTok videos. We're going to take a look at the results of WAN Steady Dancer, Scale, WAN Animate, and lastly the Clang 2.6 motion control models to determine which one likely produces the best result similar to the dancing video that we saw on Reddit. The WAN Steady Dancer, Scale, and WAN Animate is a open source model so I have prepared comfy UI workflows and ROMPOD templates to run this in the cloud if you don't have strong enough local GPU to run these models. When Steady Dancer, Scale, and When Animate are all GPU intensive models, so you will need at least 24 gigabyte of VRAM to run this workflow comfortably. So for those who don't have enough VRAM on their machine, just follow the link in the description to launch the ROMPOD template on the cloud and test out these models easily. The Clang 2.6 motion control model is a paid premium model, so you have to use WaveSpeed or other AI generation platform that lets you use these models through their APIs. My preferred platform to go to is WaveSpeed. When we test out Clang 2.6, I'll also go through how to set up WaveSpeed on your desktop so that you can run these models without censorship. Now let's dive into testing out these workflows. We're going to first test out WAN Steady Dancer and look at the result. The workflow download link and the ROMPOD template link is in the description below. I'm going to launch the WAN Steady Dancer ROMPOD template on the 5090 GPUs. Once the container says the Comfy UI program is ready, you can launch the Comfy UI interface by going to the front page of RunPod and then clicking the HTTP service. I'll first briefly go over the models that we are using. For the base model, we're using the WAN 2.1 Steady Dancer FP8 model by KJ. Other than the base model, we're going to begin by loading other essential models as well using the WAN 2.1 Bay for video decoding, the Clip Vision for image understanding, and the Light XTV LoRa models to optimize the high quality video generation in 4 to 8 steps. Other than these essential models, we're also utilizing the YOLO and VIT pose to identify human body and face key points from a source motion video. This video will be a driving video that will make our static image AI influencer dance in the same motion as the reference video. This YOLO and VIT pose models will then create key points that are converted into visual pose maps and then encoded into the latent space. The important node is the WAN video add steady dancer embeds node which will merge the motion latents with the reference image that we uploaded and then instructing the AI model to apply the source video movements to the target image. And in the final process, the WAN video decode node will turn the latents back into the high quality video frames. For those of you who want to download the models and set it up locally, I've also prepared all the model download links in the node in the workflow. Before we run the workflow, I'm going to tell you an important tip to create your character image. Essentially, I recommend your character image to be similar as the first frame of your reference video so that the character body and the overall background composition is similar to the first frame of the video. You can do this by first extracting the first frame of your video and then going to see Dream 4.5 through WaveSpeed Desktop and use a prompt like put the girl from the first image to the second image with the same outfit. And you can see the result that I got right here. It would be better if the character image is facing a little bit more forward like the reference video but for the testing I think it's good enough. Now with the same character image and the video, I'm going to run the input reference video and image on the workflow. As you can see from the result of Steady Dancer, we get a pretty good dancing video, but it's not as good as the quality of the AI generated TikTok dance video. So now we're going to try WAN scale model and test out what result we're gonna get from the workflow. The WAN scale workflow can also be run on the same Rumpa template as the WAN Steady Dancer. Just drag and drop the workflow that you downloaded in the description below into the Rumpa template. Thank you. 
This WAN scale pose conf UI workflow for the WAN video model is designed to animate a character based on a reference image and a driving video while maintaining the high pose fidelity. From what community has been testing, the WAN Steady Dancer is a little bit better at character preservation, while the new scale model's strength is at replicating exact motion while maintaining a pretty good character consistency and details. Another feature of WAN scale model is that it also supports multiple people and transfer the motion of multiple characters. I'm going to explain the workflow briefly before starting the generation. And this workflow was designed with the help of another Comfy UI YouTube channel called Veteran AI. So feel free to check out his channel as he makes really quick updates on using new open source models in Comfy UI. The workflow starts out by setting the resolution constant, which is the target width and height. Right now it's set to 512 by 896. These must be divisible by 32 for compatibility with the video models. Next, we are importing the reference image and the driving video. The character image is loaded and resized to the target generation and the driving video I got it from the Reddit post that we saw before. To understand the movement, the workflow uses several detection models like the VIT pose and the YOLO model for body tracking and the NLF model for 3D-like post estimation. And the render NLF post node combines the NLF post data with the DW post data to create a visual skeleton video. And from here, the reference image is aligned to the motion skeleton perfectly with your character's starting position. And finally, in the video generation output, the workflow retrieves the main WAN video model and then decodes the latents back into the final video. I'm going to run the workflow with the reference video and the character image. And this is the result that I got. The resulting video's quality is not too good as you can see some weird transitions even though the video length is shorter than the original video. I've also tested the WAN scale model on wave speed as well the result was about the same also another thing to mention is that in both of these videos the characters lips are not really matching the original videos as well and lastly i also tried when animate for the highest quality i used when animate on wave speed on 720p resolution and for all the results of these three models i'm going to put them on the screen you can see that the generation result of these three models were not as good as the original tiktok video so as a last test i tried Kling 2.6 motion control model with the same input video and the image. To install WaveSpeed on your machine, you can go to their GitHub repository. I'll leave this link in the description below. Scroll down and go to the installation section and then click the releases page. Then scroll down and select the show all assets button. And depending on your operating system, select and install the correct execution files. Once you open up the WaveSpeed desktop, you will be prompted to put in your WaveSpeed API key. You can create your WaveSpeed API key by going to the WaveSpeed website, sign into your WaveSpeed account, and under your profile, click the API keys and then create your key with a certain key name. And once WaveSpeed gives you the API key, copy and paste the key into the desktop app. As a prompt, I put a very simple prompt like beautiful blonde girl dancing. And honestly, the resulting video was really good. The motion and video quality is very smooth and the character is following the original video's lift movements as well. The output generation would have been a bit better if my character image's body orientation was more similar to the original video's first frame. So from what we have tested so far, most likely the original AI video on Reddit was made with Clank 2.6 motion control model. As always, if you are interested in creating your AI influencer for monetization, consider joining our premium community to become an expert at AI character creations with the most up-to-date workflows and models.